News at 6. You can keep up with all the latest developments on the BBC website. From the 6 o'clock team, it's goodbye. And the news continues here on BBC One as now it's time to join our colleagues for the news where you are. Bye-bye. Good evening. Welcome to North West Tonight with Annabelle Tiffin. Our top story, the Wirral teacher trapped in Gaza. Her husband and children face an anxious wait for news. Islam Alashi went to Gaza two months ago to visit her family. Also tonight. I'm at Everton, a club in shock after the Blues were docked 10 points for breaching financial fair play rules. It's Children in Need night. Bolton welcomes its own Vernon Kay as he completes his ultra, ultra marathon. It's lovely, you know, especially when your, your hometown comes out in force to welcome you after something as epic as that. And it's been a good day weather-wise for Pudsey, but the weekend is a little bit more unsettled. Join me at the end of the programme. I'll give you all the details. Welcome to the programme. It's Friday evening, but more importantly, it is Children in Need night. And uh, we've sent Roger out to a boxing club in Manchester. So let's join him there now. Roger, are you winning on points or looking for a knockout? Oh, tonight's a knockout, Annabelle, always. Look, I've got the big yellow bear with me. It's always a winner. Um, it's Children in Need night, as you say. We're at Collyhurst and Moston Boxing Club. The reason we're here is that this morning, Anna Jameson from BBC Radio Manchester had her challenge for Pudsey. She had a boxing challenge. We'll see how she got on. Look, she can handle herself, can't she? Uh, we'll also find out more about Vernon Kay and see some of the wonderful things you've been doing today to raise money for children in need. And that's all to come a little later in the programme. We'll be packing a punch, Annabelle. Looking forward to it, Roger. Thanks very much. First tonight, though, the husband of a Wirral teacher trapped in Gaza says he is desperate for help to get her home. Islam Alashi left her home in Wirral before the war to visit her sick father and hasn't seen her two young children since. Her husband, Fayez, says she's been drinking rainwater to survive. Here's Abby Jones. She answered the phone. 